So one of my YouTube buddies who is Epic Tutorials recently asked me, is the iPad compatible with Thunderbolt SSDs? Well, the short answer to that one is, iPads which have an A series processor with inside of them will not be compatible with Thunderbolt SSDs. They will, however, be compatible with USB and USB-C SSDs. Of course, if they are formatted correctly to something that the iPad will understand. However, if you have an iPad which has an M series processor in it, such as this iPad Pro here, then they will be compatible with Thunderbolt SSDs. Obviously, and once again, as long as the SSD itself is formatted to something that the iPad will understand, such as APFS or XFAT. So what I'm gonna do here is just to show you that this SSD will actually be seen by this particular iPad. And this is an Acasus TB501 Pro enclosure with the Western Digital SN850X SSD with inside of it. And interestingly, this is also Thunderbolt 5. Now I'll explain something about the Thunderbolt 5 compatibility in a second. However, the first thing I'm going to do is just to go to settings here. And as we will be able to see, this is an iPad Pro M4. So obviously Thunderbolt compatible. So let me just come out of there. Now I'm just gonna to go to the file browser here. And if we have a look in locations, as we will see, there is no external hard drive connected here at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is get this Thunderbolt 5 cable here, which is already connected to the iPad. And as we should be able to see, Thunderbolt 5 for the cable. And then just going to connect this to the SSD. Now when it connects, we should see a green light come on here. It won't be in focus because I'm trying to focus on the iPad. However, we should see a green light here to say it's activating. So there we go, hopefully we can see that green light there. Now if we have a look in the locations list here, shortly, oh there we go, a Acasus TB501WD4TB, so that indeed is this external SSD. So let me just go into here. Let me just have a look at something that I can play here. So basically these are actually all the folders that are on this particular SSD. So let me just go to the video masters here. Let me just have a look here. I'll just randomly play one of these video files. So as you can see, this video file is playing perfectly well there. Now one thing to also note is this is a Thunderbolt 5 SSD or an 80 gigabits per second SSD. Now the reason why this is playing is because it is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3. So whilst this particular iPad Pro is Thunderbolt 4 compatible, it will see a Thunderbolt 5 SSD, although it will not operate at the 80 gigabits per second that the Thunderbolt 5 SSD operates at. It will only treat the Thunderbolt 5 SSD as a 40 gigabits per second SSD. Okay, that should do it then for this quick video. And also, if you are somebody who is into shooting video on your iPhone or Android phone, go and check out the YouTube channel for Epic Tutorials. There will be a link on the screen at the end of the video and also in the video description below. And don't forget to check out the Epic LUTs. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.